Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick on the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So, before solving this problem, I'm going to teach you guys an important property of exponents. So, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then a is equal to b, but this is only if x is greater than or equal to 1. So, let's say x was anything, let's say x was a decimal, 0 0.4 then this property wouldn't apply to this because x, or sorry, by x, I actually mean a. a has to be greater than or equal to 1. So if a, let's say, was 0 0.4, this property wouldn't work out because a is not greater than or equal to 1. So now, for my solution to this problem, I first start with x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. Now 36, this is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to be taking the power of 3 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n, m and n are both interchangeable, meaning this can also equal a to the power of n times m. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then this means that a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simple terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we can think of x to the power of 3 as m and 3 as n. So if I change these two places, we get x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to, now, 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2 times 3, which is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. And remember, if a, this is only if a is greater than or equal to 1, and in this case, a is 6, which is greater than or equal to 1, so this property applies. So I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 6. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to the cube root of 6. So this is my answer. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. So now I'm first going to write 2 to the, rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as... 2 to the power of 9 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, I'm going to be rewriting this as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 1. So now, 1 here, this is going to be the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2. And now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 9, and b is equal to 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1, times 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. So now, 2 to the power of 9, this is equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 1 times 512 minus 1. Now 512 plus 1, this is 513, and 512 minus 1, this is 511. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11. 
Now to solve this, I'm going to simply distribute the 500 and then distribute the 13. So 500 times 500 plus 500 times 11 plus 13 times 500 plus 13 times 11. Now, 500 times 500, this is going to be 250,000 plus 500 times 11, this is going to be 5,500 plus 13 times 500, this is going to be 6,500 plus 13 times 11, this is going to be 143. So now I have 250,000 plus 5,500 plus 6,500 plus 143. So now this is equal to 250,000 plus 5,500 plus 6,500 is 12,000 plus 143. And 250,000 plus 12,000, 262,000 plus 143 is 262,143. So this is my answer. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 20 to the power of 8. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 20 to the power of 8. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So now I have x times log 2. I simply moved x to the front. I'm going to do the same with 8. So then I have equals 8 times log 20. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x is equal to 8 log 20 over log 2. Now 20 we can rewrite as 10 times 2. So I have this over log 2. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 10 times 2, that's going to equal log 10 plus log 2. Now I have this over log 2. So now, if I go ahead and distribute the 8 here to both of these terms, I get x is equal to 8 times log 10 is 8 log 10, plus 8 times log 2, that's going to be 8 log 2. And I have this over log 2. So now this is equal to 8 log 10 over log 2 plus 8 log 2 over log 2. So now these two log 2's cancel out. So now I'm left with, and log 10, that's equal to 1. So I have 8 over log 2 plus 8. Now log 2. That's equal to 0 0.301. So now I have 8 over 0 0.301 plus 8. So now 8 over 0 0.301, that's equal to 26.578. Now I have this plus 8, which is equal to 34.578. So this is my answer.